Well, basically it all started with the sister city um, relationship. The city was looking for a sister city. Um, this was probably would be probably 12 years ago now. And there was interest in finding a sister city in Germany because of all of the people of German heritage who would still live in this area. When you talk to people from Celine, they sometimes didn't realize that their heritage is linked directly to Germany. And it all started when Liebherr um, wanted to have a relationship between the Liebherr company here and in Lindenberg, and that's how the sister city thing started. A lot of people that work at Liebherr in Germany, in Lindenberg, will come here to Celine to work for a few years, and then that's kind of how our friendship started. A whole lot of things happened. Um, discussions, negotiations, meet and greet, visitors from Celine went to Lindenberg to see what the city was like, people from Lindenberg came to Celine, and that all culminated 11 years ago now. And then the schools got involved and the Americans came to Germany in, I, I think to remember in 2001. The Celine lindenberg relationship between the two cities is under the umbrella of Sister Cities International and the school exchanges um, take place under another organization. It is a GAP program, German-American Partnership program, and it's kind of financed by the two governments. The first GAP exchange was then in 2002, and we've had a GAP exchange every two years since then, so this was actually the seventh one. And the goal of it is really just to not have the students be tourists, but really live the life of an American teenager. I think it's a great program that the kids can come over to a completely different country, completely different culture, and experience what life is like there. I think some of the highlights for the students for sure was the U of M stadium. Um, that was something that the students are not accustomed to. We had a great day at the one-room schoolhouse. We actually incidentally run into a group of elementary school kids. And then we ended up, the Germans ended up playing around with the little ones. So that was kind of fun. Because afterwards they were just like, oh, worked out so well and they were so cute and some of them learned some German words and then I was very glad to see the fire department. We were at a lot of places here in Celine, um, like the fire department or the police department. Chief of the fire department he made a chili, so a homemade chili and then they served hot dogs and they really liked that and they took pictures in the uniforms. We visit some some places in Celine and, and Arbor and this weekend we were in Chicago we went to the Willis Tower and the Hancock Tower. I couldn't imagine before how uh, that will be there and the house is so huge. We were um, bowling, what was really cool because it's not usual to go bowling in Germany. Or we'll have a Halloween party at Halloween and you don't celebrate Halloween in Germany and I think this will also be really interesting. We, at the first Friday, we were at the football game. The marching band was there and um, to see um, how they play and what choreographs they do and so on. And they were in Chicago during the homecoming dance, but just tailgating for the first time. We did a walking taco, so that was something exciting for the students. Cheerleaders are new. Football is something completely different in Germany. Greenfield Village um, for Thursday, so that this is for me that's a very interesting part since it has so much about US history. I really think when we um, painted the rock at Mill Pond Park, that was really special because we got to kind of leave our mark on the town. I was on a traditional um, American farm, the Rensler farm. It was really interesting. I think that some of the service things that they did with making connections to the kindergartners and working in Mill Pond Park were really important. On like one of the very first days that they were there, we had a sleepover. We have been to Lipa 
And for us, it was really interesting. We went to Laser Tag and did that, and we also did a lot of shopping. They really like to shop here. And, and when I talked to the students too, it was not necessarily the things that I had scheduled on the program as to these are the different outings that they will go to. It was the day-to-day -day things that really stuck with them. And that's kind of the whole reason why GAP started, um, was for them to get a taste of what it's like to be an American teenager. So the sister city groups often uh, are involved in uh, some of the events at Celine. The Celine Lindenberg Friendship Committee has really helped out during this exchange. Um, they hosted both of the teachers. It was great to uh, host one of the teachers. This is the first time we had done that. There were also members of the Celine Lindenberg Friendship Committee that came to uh, the goodbye party, which was really nice that we got to see that connection. This is just great. We had like about 100 um, students coming over from Germany already, and we've had quite a few Americans over. Hosting somebody from Germany, welcoming them in their home, um, I think they have made some really strong friendships. It is something, something really special that they are opening their houses for us. And it's just great that the families open their houses and welcome completely strangers. For me it's a new experience to go on another continent. It's very interesting to see how they live and how their family live together. So it's cool, I like them. <laughs> Out of hosting I learned more about the culture. Yeah, it's. It's also great to see how they live and what they eat and so on. And yeah, it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> I want to see the culture here and how the people live because, yeah, it's very different than Germany. I know when I go over to Germany, I'll learn more. You're really a part of the family. It's important to see how other people live, to understand. Um, I thought it was really cool to kind of see how different cultures, like Germany, like lived and the differences between the U.S. and there. In Germany you heard much about America, but when you're here you, you see it with your own eyes. It shows you a lot of things as a student. It shows you another culture and how other people across the world live, but it also teaches you responsibility and it really helps you to bond with people that you may not have bonded with before. It was everything exciting. <laughs> it's, it's really in another way in Germany, it was a great experience. I told the Germans when they were here, um, there's a certain burden by being representative of your country, but it's also a wonderful privilege to be able to be here, to um, be able to communicate with other people, live in somebody else's house, um, get the food that are that is American food, um, and, and then get to go back home and share those experiences. Travel of any kind is, of course, a very, I believe, a very enriching thing, but this kind of exchange, both the exchanges the adult groups have had and the school exchanges, gives us um, a much different and in many ways richer way to experience another, another place in another culture.